Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create variables in Stata. In order to do so we'll just jump right in. Let's create a variable var1 and we'll use the gen command and we'll set that variable equal to 0. Now I want to show you something interesting here. You, we've just created a column and there are no values here at all so you could go in here by hand and and just enter values from this point on if that's what you wanted to do. I did want to show you some other alternatives of stuff you can do before you go in and enter values by hand for a variable you've created. So let's enter clear and just to remind you clear gets rid of everything. It drops all the variables and observations in the data set. And now I'm going to create two new variables after I set 50 observations. So the first thing I did was I created 50 open observations in the data set. Then I created var1 with a value of 0 and var2 with a value of 1. Let's see what they look like. Yep, so just as advertised, we now have 50 values of 0 for var1 and 50 values of 1 for var2. This kind of thing is useful if you're not going to be pasting in some data by hand, but you need a variable to have a certain fixed function. Um, like perhaps you have, um, let's say you have a data set of 100 experimental results and 50 of the subjects are females and another 50 are males and they're sequentially ordered. So it's first 50 females and 50 males. You could use this kind of function within Stata so that when you generate the variable, you can populate a lot of it here automatically without having to go in by hand and do that stuff. And in the tutorial on replacement, by the way, I do talk more about how to do that kind of thing, that example that I just gave about uh, about gender and experiments. So uh, shameless plug here, please go check that out as well if you want to learn how to do it. I'm going to clear again and I'm going to do some more advanced functions too with generation so you can see really what, what Stata is capable of here. And it's really just a taste because you can do a lot more than this. I've created 50 observations again and I use this underscore and command for var1 to create a sequential run here from 1 all the way to 50. What I did with var2 was I just multiplied var1 by 2 to get var2. And there you can see my code for doing that. I just entered 2 you know, times var1 and we automatically generated var2 that was built off var1. Then I created var3 using a log transformation of var1 and that was to show you that we can go beyond arithmetic functions here and do some pretty advanced things here. So var3 suddenly becomes a log transformation here. Um, and you could do even more advanced stuff, you know, using status operators and its wonderful, clean, simple code. You can create variables that are keyed off, you know, any number of other variables. You can put in all kinds of operators, uh, arithmetic operators, advanced math operators to create that variable in any fashion that you need to see it. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.